can't change That everything will always change But we'll remember this as it is today in time We both know you won't be mine Between you and me, writing our history and creating our Hey, Breezers. How are you guys? What a place to be paused at. Okay, so this video, we're going to hear G-Man's offer, which I believe was only good for 24 hours and expired yesterday. He has an offer for Rev slash Jason. And then Rev put out a new video today titled, like, I Love Shani or something. So clearly, he's not taking Rev up on the offer. Um, right before I paused it, Rev said, many of you guys don't know this, but I bought Shani. So let's see what he bought Shani. Let me go to live chat so we could see what's going on and off he booty goes. shorts. What? I bought Shani booty shorts. Why? Beyond the request of these guys. And you did it? Any, anything you wanted, Rev. Anything you wanted, you would have asked me, I would have gave it to you. You wanted a car? Yeah, he said right before I had paused it and decided to screen record that he was going to give Rev like $20,000 for a car or something. No problem. I ain't had the money out at the time. But I had to save it and I was going to get it for you. Why though? The car that you're driving right now, yours truly practically paid for that. Or did you forget that? But why did you do that? I helped you with your paperwork and your documentation. I helped you with all of that. The celebrity juicer commented, booty shorts? <laughs> yes, why booty shorts? Why wouldn't her fake husband buy those for her? I uh... Helped you with the Durango. Helped you with just about everything that you're going through. And then you get on social media, dude, and you get on here and say, G-Man wasn't really a friend to you. Gave you man-to-man -man advice on how you should handle your situation with Shani. And Shani didn't like it. And there's a bunch of videos on on um, on um uh, XX Archive. I think Celebrity Juicer. Book Love said it was at Shani's request at the Celebrity Juicer. But why? 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 I have a clip and a couple of other people on here where... um. Where, okay, where... Chipper said, why do you support them and for how long? Not normal for someone to do this. Maybe G Man was trying to be a good friend, but I definitely see where they could he could have enabled them. Definitely. Where she and he's complaining that I'm talking behind her back. As a matter of fact, we're actually gonna listen to some of it in a minute. Okay. All right, not not right away, because there's some there's a lot of stuff on here I want to listen to. It's gonna be a long show today. Oh. So for those of you who like long shows, this is gonna probably be a two hour stream. So um, the point is What's the is point? that anything you wanted, Jason, I got it for you. I told you I had to get surgery on my back. I was going to have to cut the money in half. And that ungrateful barracuda that you're with got... Ungrateful barracuda. Well said. ...on here and told everybody that I was giving her a death sentence, that her feet needed to be propped up and she can't be in the car. It's like all of the other options in her life were obsolete. It was instantly the car. No shelter, no other relative, uh -huh. not going back to the uncle, which you eventually went to. Right. You have no faith in Jesus Christ whatsoever, dude. You know, you call yourself Jason Avocado, and I want to talk to you about that Metatron thing today, too. Okay. Metatron is a demon, and so is Saldaphon. They're both demons. Neither one of them are archangels. Do the research. If oh you my gosh, Maria's World said, what a vision. Thanks. Hashtag no booty shorts for Shani. <laughs> I really don't want this mental image in my mind. Make it go away. If you want to come on my YouTube channel and peace and talk about it, I will gladly educate you on that particular topic. All right, but let's just get into this. I'm the best friend you ever had, dude. Okay. I mean, obviously, the only friend that could be better than me is Jesus because he wants to save your soul. But as, 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 as far as I go as a human being, you can't name a friend on social media that's been a better friend to you. Shani hasn't been a good friend to you. She makes you get on. She, she makes you do do live shows when you don't want to do it. We're gonna right. take a look at that very shortly. He had to come on and beg for cigarette money yesterday. But my point to you, Jason, is is that I'm hurt. You talk about you hurt. 
I'm hurt. I can't get surgery. I can't cut money in half as if I'm supposed to do this for the rest of my right. life. You're a selfish prick. And you need to repent. Did I say that, G-Man, when I was doing this? Listen to me, dude. We can't compare who did what for who. I'll show everybody what you gave to me. Okay. And then I'll show everybody what I gave to you. It's not even close. You don't want to go there. You do not want to go there. I was still going to help. And then you allowed your girlfriend, the one you're shacking up with, shacking to up. go on here and tell everybody I was giving you a death sentence. That's why me and you having our problems, dude. You're allowing this woman. I wouldn't take it that personal. I feel like every day Shani says she's dying for a different reason, which isn't cool because there's people honestly suffering and going through so much. And Shani every day picks another illness that she's sick with or she's dying from. To, to, to mess up everything you had going for you, dude. The, the complete and total rehabilitation of your life has been destroyed because of that. I ain't going to say well, because everybody else is saying it. Because of that Chia pet that you're with. Chia pet. So she's not, she's not only an ungrateful barracuda, she's also a Chia pet. And she is a Chia pet. You're just not man enough to say it to her. Wait, Sabella said at Brett Von Helton, she tried to get me fired and kicked out of my school after I supported her when she knew she lied straight to my face about the arrest. Because you convinced yourself that you can't live without her, dude. But I promise you this, though, as your real friend, if anything happens to you, I promise you this, it will be Jason, I'm sorry, there will be justice for Jason. I promise you. And you listen to me, Shani, you know I'm telling the truth. Anything happens. What does he mean if anything happens? What is he hinting at? To him. If he suddenly dies and you get an insurance claim or anything like that, oh, I'm watching wow. you. And I will testify against you. I'm not playing. I'm not joking around. I could tell. Jason, before we start listening to this stuff that you guys are saying on your channels here, uh huh. this is my offer for you, and you have exactly... 24 hours. Okay, and I think the 24 hours was up as of yesterday. Bug Love said Shani isolating him is a way of controlling him. She's going to get sloppy with him again. Oh, my gosh. To respond to me. Now, let's do a home network here a little bit, guys. Okay. Let's do the Christian home network here let's a little do bit. It. To decide what I'm going to give back to Jason if he accepts his offer. Now, mind you, this offer has conditions on it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to make this easy. You have to make a life decision, dude. And you're going to be surprised when you hear this. Whoever decides that they don't want to watch this and, and, and decide that this is boring, this is the dumbest time to do that. Okay. So first of all, let's start off with the small stuff. All right. Jason, you gave me three of these. Okay? And you gave it to me for the Delta 8. Oh, I was trying to get a thumbnail. First and foremost, I'll give you back your FSX like Got it. A weapon of a Jedi, not as floppy as a blaster. <laughs> what? But I'll give you back your one of your lightsabers. Okay. Particularly for Mr. Skywalker. So that's number one. I that's will give you one. back your FXX lightsaber, Mr. Egroff. Hey, you guys. Sorry, it cut off. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else G Man is offering Rev. Only that, Jason. I will give you back. Something that I know you love. That's something that you was afraid that Shani was going to destroy. I will give you back your EverDrive. One of them. Not all of them, but one, one of them. One of them. Okay. You can pick either the Nintendo one, the, the Sega Genesis, or the Super Nintendo. I think you gave me all three. But I'll give you back your, your precious EverDrive. Okay. So that's a lightsaber and that's the EverDrive. But it gets better, Jason. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. You remember when you guys first came to Scranton? When you guys was getting all gifty and whatnot, you remember this? Oh. You know, I haven't. I've only played this one time since I've had it. That is how much I work. I will give you back this switch. I'm so nosy, you guys. I'm trying to see the reflection in the switch. That's how nosy I am. <laughs> Anybody else? But it gets better. It gets better. Jason, 
Because I can't wait to put these conditions on you, though. You're not going to like that part. That's the part you're not going to like. So you get the Nintendo Switch. So just to remind everybody, I think the offer expired yesterday. He never took um, G-Man up on any of this. And there is a video up titled something along the lines of I Love Shani, which we're going to go check out after we see the rest of this offer. You'll get back your FX. I'll give you back the FF, the FFX lightsaber. Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute. We don't want to play that yet. I'll give you back. The EverDrive, but it gets better. And the Switch. It gets better. How many of you watch a lot of Shani's videos, right? I don't even know what this thing is, but she had it on her wall all the time. Okay. How many of you remember this thing? It's supposed to be some type of bag or something from Disney or something like that. You see this here? Kingdom uh -huh. Hearts, I think it is. I will give this back to you. I don't even know what this is. I don't either. And I'll give it back to you. Oh, and by the way, since Miss Star is watching, let me publicly apologize to Miss Star, Miss Star's daughter, and Miss Star's um, uh, uh, grandmother. I think I don't know what I said about her, but I apologize to all three of them. Anya said she gave you the purse. LOL. For what I said and going after them for going after Shannon, because the fact of the matter is, Miss Star was 100% correct about Shannon. I'm sorry, 100% correct. So anyway, um. I will give this back to you, mm -hmm. Jason, but it gets better. I have something much bigger and more expensive that I want to give to you. Okay. I'll give you back your house. Your house? I did not stutter. I will give you back the house. Oh. He's so dumb. He didn't take G-Man up on that. Oh, my gosh. And what happens if the uncle wants to kick them out again? Then they'll be back online crying for food and shelter. This is wild to me. He picked Shani over getting the house back? Real friend. Hold on. I see my girl Taylor Vaughn in there. Hey, T. That woman that you're with can't stand. She's not a real friend of you. I'll give you back your house. She's not a real friend and she's not even a real wife. They're fake married. They're not even really married. Under one well, actually, under several conditions. You see, okay. the first condition is, is this. You have to terminate that relationship with Shani. Uh-huh. Now, listen to me, dude. I watched what happened in Boulder, Colorado, when you guys was pretending to be in different places because of the separation, because of what was going on with Boulder. And unlike those other people in Boulder, I'm not dumb, all mm -hmm. right? You're going to have to have the uncle... Throw her out. Oh, dang. Condition number two. So you got to break up with her, uh -huh. and the uncle has to throw her out. And this has to happen in the next 24 hours. Gets even better. Okay. And harder, too. What? Number three, you have to sign legal documents that says that if you end up back with Shani, mm -hmm. or if you sell the house within five years... Without living in it for five years first, you can't get, you you have to basically give it back to me. Oh wow! So you got to sign a contract saying that you got to live in the house. You can't sell it for five. Well, and Julie's mom said if she sees this, she won't let him watch it. I don't think so either. Five years. You got to leave Shani, and she has to be thrown out in the next twenty four hours by the uncle. Uh huh. Number four, you got to meet with me in person to prove all of these things. Uh, I'm sorry, to prove that most of these things happen. And you got to be you obviously got to meet me to sign these papers mm -hmm. within the first within the next 24 hours. And then number five. And finally, you got to face the music. You have to appear on Dragnut's channel. Oh, and you have to face the music. You have to appear on Sabella's channel. Uh -huh. You have to you have to go on the Geek Room. You have to go on all. So he has to do a whole press tour, basically. <laughs> of these channels and give the real story about Shani. Oh. You have to admit that I was not lying about the house stinking, about the house being dirty, about anything that I said to Shani. You want your house back? That's what you got to do. Okay. And he didn't take G-Man up on any of this. How stupid can one person be? You have the opportunity to get your house back. All these things, you just got to dump the toxic person and you won't do it. That's very telling to me. What do you guys think about this? 
Okay, the next clip we're going to be watching um, Rev's video he put out this morning a couple hours ago. I'll see you guys there. Hey, you guys. Okay, so this is Rev's response um, that he put up today. It's titled, I love Shani with a red heart. Um, I can't turn it the other way, so we're just going to have to watch it this way. Um, and off we go. Maybe thumbnail woohoo? Let's go. Hey, guys. How you doing? Rev here. Um, and I wanted to... Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you guys. Uh -huh. um, that helped. I, I appreciate you a lot. Um, and uh, if I get like... He wants to thank you for sending him money so he doesn't have to get off his butt and look for a job. And thank you for enabling them even more. He just got offered a house back. His house back. Plus many of the things like his switch, um, a lightsaber, all kinds of stuff. And he's turning it all down for Shani. 20 more, I could put some gas in the car and that'd be really good. You uh, always got to keep... Are you going to be looking for a job if someone puts gas in the car? I always got to keep like five gallons in the thing. Or it starts stalling out. It's weird. Um, but this video is a very specific message that I want known to everybody that knows... Uh, me and Shani. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, people find it, and I, I'm sure it's, it's trolls, but it doesn't matter if it's trolls because, um, when enough people say something, then it becomes, well, uh, maybe it's true because it isn't being addressed. Uh huh. So there's this, this craziness with a lot of people. <clears throat> that like to there's craziness with a lot of people there's craziness with you and your fake wife and jason if enough people are saying the same thing you might want to listen to it and if enough people are saying hey you guys need to be away from each other you guys are bad for each other you two enable each other you're very codependent you bring each other down she's using you she spend all your money Nothing good happens with you two. Do you get that? If enough people are saying it, you might want to pay attention to it. Um, the, it's like this hashtag run, rev, run thing. Run? Uh, where it's made this weird scenario where I'm like a hostage in a hostage situation or some craziness. And, and I, Do I, you think you, don't, you play no part in that? You came online yesterday with the weirdest video saying Nurse Ratchet was hiding your cigarettes or something behind a counter, and you need a $10 so you can get your own cigarettes. What part do you play in making things look how they look? I think I believe I know where this is coming from, and it's it's because of the, the past uh, domestic stuff that happened. But even in that case, what, what happened there was not right and justified, you know? What? Uh we were we just had a fight and it was it was it was not a, a you know this thing that should have blown up into what if the police took one of you guys away it was for a reason and i think i know i mean i saw one of the videos where shani got arrested <laughs> come on uh the police made it to be cuz boulder police is ridiculous they're ridiculous. But there's this whole meme of, oh, Rev, you need to run, and oh, we need to save Rev. And it's like, and, and I guess G-Man is like, oh, you know, I'm going to get you away from Shani and stuff. You, you guys, it's ridiculous. Do you know what this does to her? And and this is coming from the guy that is with her, okay? I'm with her all, all the time. Let me guess. She's going to say that because of whatever video came out and whoever's reacting, she's going to die. Let me guess. Let me guess. I, 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 I take care of stuff, you know, and bless her, she tries, she does what she can do, but guys, like, she does the bare minimum, if that, every day it's something new of what's wrong with her and, and somebody else caused it, how do you not see this? Without, without me even having to come forward and say, you're thinking wrong. Okay, how many times has there been actual police involved here? And I you shouldn't be asking how many times. It should be the police shouldn't be involved at all. 
the way you guys are living and the things that you guys do, police have to be involved. Do you realize that's not a normal way to live? I've gotten out of this or they would have forcefully taken me out of a situation where there was any kind of, you know, abuse or whatever taking place. Like, it's ridiculous, okay? But... So when, Shani's making him make this video. That's what I'm getting from this. Anybody else? Anybody else? It's repeated over so many times, over and over and over again. It grates on Shani. I mean, it's ridiculous. The, the amount of psychological um, torture that comes from people just making stuff up, really. Okay, because I don't want to hear it. Do you know how in the past few weeks how many people have made up stuff about me? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? And you know how I'm handling it? I realize that people are going to believe what they want to believe and nobody knows my exact situation. And nobody knows all that happened and nobody knows the truth. So I'm not going to spend my time trying to prove every single person wrong. I'm just going to live my life. We all go through things. All of us with the channel... Just even people without a channel, I mean, people are going to say what they're going to say. And at the end of the day, ultimately, it's not any of our business what other people think of us, right? You're not, you're not me. And I'm telling you, I'm the one living in the situation. And Shani is like a rock to me. She's everything. She, she makes you go online and beg for money because neither of you guys want to work. That's who your rock is? We've seen you come on so annoyed because she made you go live and make a video asking for money. We've seen it. Okay, this is our thumbnail, woohoo. I don't know who you're trying to convince, us or yourself, but all of us can see what's truly going on. He's my world, okay? So I wanted to say directly um, to the people that are saying these types of things, like run, rev, run, and, um, you know, gaslighting type stuff on Shani. Just, mm -hmm. if you actually like me, then stop it. Okay? She's my wife. Raise your hand if you actually like Rev. Oh, I don't see anybody. And I love her with every bit of my being. <clears throat> every bit of it. There's not one bit of me that doesn't just love her a billion percent. Oh, bye. Okay. Um, these things that are said like this, and it's persistent over and over and over again, and more and more people hear it because you, you're like an echo chamber of the same bullshit. I I really need you to stop it because it 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 gets to Shani psychologically to see this stuff. So then much. maybe she should go inpatient, like you guys both desperately need to do. And maybe you both don't need to be online. If making videos all day, begging for money all day, every day is having this much of an effect on you, maybe you guys shouldn't do it. Maybe Shani shouldn't do it. So I, I, I want it made clear that I love Shani. Oh, boy. And I, this is not Stockholm Syndrome or any kind of weirdness. I love her. If you have to say that, then it is. I'm sorry, but if you have to say that, it may look like this, but I swear it's not. It probably is. She's my girl, and I want to be with her forever. So enough, enough of the innuendos and the bullshit, because that's exactly what it is. You guys know that you make stuff up to get views and clicks and super chats. Make stuff up? I don't think anybody has to make stuff up about you guys. Like, we've seen you on the news. We see Shani's Twitch. We see G-Man's videos. We've seen you guys in real time doing your live streams. Your situation is really this bad. It's really that bad, Jason. People don't have to make anything up. You, you, you make fan fictions up. Because at the end of the day, it's like you are Stan fans. Like, Eminem Stan fans. Are you serious? Like, really weirdness. And there's a Gavin. Then don't come online and ask for money. If everybody's like an Eminem stand fan, like you just said, don't ask people for money. Hey, Gav. He's a good boy. Are you done? So that's it. I, I wanted, I've just, I, I've heard enough of it. 
it's it's too much. It's it's it, and and if I don't address it, then it's it's disgusting on my part. You know, it's disgusting on your part not helping yourself. Coming online every day, giving lectures, yet begging for money. Have you guys asked for any presents for your kids? I'm not trying to be mean, you guys, but every day they're asking for something for them. It's the holidays. Are you guys thinking of them at all? And I hope and I pray those kids are safe wherever they are. I pray they're safe, happy, and healthy. So I felt to make this, it needed to be made, my position on it. It's like, you guys just stop it with that abusive shit towards Shani, because I love her. Oh, brother. Okay, let's talk about this in the comment section. This, for some reason, his video today annoyed me more than anything. And I don't know if it has to do with we watched all the stuff he could get back. He just has to change his life a little bit. And he's unwilling to do so. All right, you guys, let's shake off any bad vibes or negativity. Shake, 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 shake. Let's do it one more time just for good measure. Shake, 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 shake. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye. So, Foodie Beauty thinks I'm a hamster? Me? No way. Here we go.